When I was a kid, there were two things I really loved, Winnie the Pooh and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can go to my parents' house to this day and still find Pooh and Ninja Turtle toys hanging around. Once upon a time, Katerina Casper was also a kid, and she had two favorite things too. Her favorites, the Bible and the Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. Now, there are probably countless ways in which young Katerina and I were very different, but I think that one speaks volumes. While others might have only cared about playing games and having fun, this little girl from Dürnbach, Germany, found great joy and meaning pouring over those two exceptional books. It was amazing, and it was part of a childhood filled with this incredible love and devotion to God. Katerina would take that devotion and let it guide her actions throughout her life. She'd grown up trying to help people and wanted to do that as part of a religious community. The problem? There weren't any around, so she started one the poor handmaids of Jesus Christ. She took the name Maria and became the superior, the leader, the mother of this new order. The sisters went around helping the poor, sick, children, just about anybody. And really, they became known less for what they were specifically doing at any given point, and more just for the love they had for the people they were serving. And that love is what's so key here. It's a love that was so strongly felt and lived by Mother Maria Katerina. A love of God, a love of his connection to the people, a love of the women that she worked with, a love of those who she was helping, those who so often had no one else to love them. And it's a love that for over 150 years now has been continued and lived out by the poor handmaids around the world. That kind of real, active love seems to me precisely like what Jesus was talking about when he said, love one another. And as Mother Maria Katerina Casper is canonized a saint on October 14th, it's a love that we can all be inspired by. No matter who we are, or where we're from, or how many plastic turtles we did or didn't have as kids, we can all love. We can feel that love, share that love, and truly live that love. Mother Maria Katerina did it, giving us all an example of what that love can look like. Now we just need to get out there and try it ourselves.